kisses from Kai on the head. 79 kisses from Kai. One more kiss from the man who is dead. That's 80 gold kisses from Kai on the head. 80 gold kisses from Kai on the head. 80 gold kisses from Kai. One more kiss from the man who is dead. That's 81 kisses from Kai on the head. <laughs> I mean, you know, recognize people that we know lived thousands of years ago, like like Bunny and Fifi and, you know, others. I mean, they died. And we see them here, and they're alive. They were alive. Perhaps they just look the same. By exactly the same? With exactly the same personalities? Now you think we're in some kind of afterlife? What do you mean, Stanley? I mean, a place you go when you die. I mean, how, how do we know that we're not dead? I mean, well, okay, you've been dead for, what, you know, 6,000 years. But how do you know I'm not dead? You are alive, Stan. From my perspective, I mean. You're dead, and you weren't here. Well, I mean, you know, until we arrived. 
How could this be an afterlife? Perhaps the part of me that is alive is here, somewhere. I mean now? Yes, now. Oh, okay, well, I hope we get to meet him, or it. Think we're ever gonna find her? I, mean, I don't know how anybody could survive down there. What'd you do that for? Look. Those are definitely her footprints, am I right? Yes, they appeared to be hers. You coming, Stanley? Where? Up there. Well, look, you're much better at that than, than me. So uh, why don't you go up first and check it out? I'll stay down here, watch the moth, and I'll keep an eye out for Zev in case she spots us down here. It's hotter down here than it is up there. That's okay, I don't mind, really. If it gets so I can't stand it down here, I'll just take the moth and we'll go up and fly around for a while. Buddy? Yeah, it's not. Welcome to Girl Town. That's just warm enough. Jigarata. I mean, we're Jigarata. I don't know anymore. We are queen. Queen of Girl Town. Are you a girl? Me? No, 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 no. You look like a girl. No, 
No, I'm definitely not a girl. You're confused. I'm definitely not a girl. Hmm. Let's have a closer look. Mmm. Dreamy, dreamy drumsticks. Drumsticks? Mm. Your soft sweetness belongs to... Me? Uh, Stanley H. Tweedle, captain of the Lex. Captain of the who? The Lex. You know, the big bug flies around in the sky. I see, I came here with Kai. The dead guy in black. It's, we're looking for Zev. A woman dressed in a cluster lizard outfit. And you know, I really should get back to looking for her if you don't mind. Mm. So you're not from either fire or water? No, 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 no. Like I said, from the Lex. See, we were... Well, the Lex came from the light universe. And we were all there until it got destroyed. And then we came here to the dark zone, the other universe. <laughs> That's so good. Queen was hoping to hear that. <gasps> Why? Because all the bodies here are gone before bodies. This doesn't help, Queen. You're a real first timer, aren't you, Stanley Captain? Oh. Say it to Queen. Say so what? I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a first timer. I'm, I'm experienced. Say it to Queen that you haven't died before. What are you talking about? Of course I haven't died before. I'm Stanley H. Tweedle. I'm 100 percent alive. <laughs> oh, pinky and rosy, Stanley Captain, Captain Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Queen is so happy! <laughs> She's mad. Drumsticks, 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 drumsticks. Definitely mad. Boring, 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 boring. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Mwah. about the girl. Point of order, Your Majesty. Suck it. Wrench's point is a point of personal privilege, yes. not a point of order. Wrench, Your Majesty, <coughs> I withdraw my point of order. But we still have to discuss the girl. The point of order is withdrawn. Point of personal privilege. Hammer. Your Majesty. This person may look like a girl, but they do not dress, nor do they behave like a girl. 
And since it is quite obvious they are not a boy, this person therefore must be a nun. She. Oh. Point of personal privilege, Your Majesty. Wretch! Every boy of us in this room is aware of how dangerous the non-she's are. Yes, yes. How do we know that this non-she, who suddenly just appeared in the desert, didn't come here to Girdletown to destroy us? Well, well, the point, the point, the point, the point, the point. How do we know, Your Majesty, that this non-she is not Prince? Point of personal privilege, Your Majesty. Emma. Your Majesty, how do we know that Duke is not behind the sudden appearance of the non-she? How do we know that this is not yet another of Duke's plots to infringe among the autonomy of every boy in Girltown? Yes. Stanley, yes. Captain. You said you're new queen. You called Queen Jigarada and wondered why Queen was alive. The non-she has lived before. And who but Prince can live and die and come back looking like someone else? Duke can, Your Majesty. <laughs> Duke comes back after death, but only as Duke. True. But like Prince, Duke is also a non-she and is even more capable of sending spies to sabotage us. Is there a motion on the floor? I would like to make a motion, French. <laughs> whereas the non-she prince has the ability to change into other forms, and whereas a non-she appears out of nowhere who claims to have known our queen in a past life, be it resolved that this non-she is in fact prince. And therefore, must receive the highest punishment possible. Death! What? Death! <laughs> Hammer. I would like to amend the motion, Your Majesty. Is the mover agreeable? What is the proposed amendment? Whereas, unlike boys who work together in a spirit of harmonious cooperation, all non-shees are constantly fighting each other in a spirit of violent, combative aggressiveness. And whereas Duke is continually trying to usurp and undermine Prince, be it further resolved that the non-she is in fact an agent of Duke, and therefore should receive the highest possible punishment, death. Here, here. Point of order! Wrench! That is not an amendment, Your Majesty. It is a separate motion. And we should vote on the earlier motion first before considering another motion. Are you proposing to amend the amendment? I'm proposing plain and simple that this non-she must die because the non-she is Prince. Hammer. Your Majesty, my amendment clearly states that the non-she must die, but not because the non-she is Prince, but because the non-she is Duke. That is not an amendment. Point of personal privilege, Your Majesty. Suck it. I would like to make an amendment to the amendment. I really think we should deal with the first amendment first. Whereas boys and non-she's have fundamentally separate agendas, and whereas this is a non-she, be it further resolved that this non-she must be following a non-boy agenda and therefore should receive the highest punishment possible. Death. Yes, 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 but I didn't do anything. Moved. Seconded. The amendment is on the floor. Point of order. Hammer. I would like to withdraw my amendment, Your Majesty. Socket's amendment is agreeable to the amendment. Point of order. Wrench. I would also like to withdraw my motion as well, Your Majesty. Do we have a motion? Uh, we have an amendment to a withdrawn motion on the floor, Your Majesty. But can we vote on it then? No, Your Majesty. Unless the second amender is agreeable to make the amendment take the form of a motion, 
Then we could have a new motion on the floor. So move. Second it. In that case, call the question. All those in favour that the non-she has been following a non-boy agenda and therefore should receive the highest possible punishment, death, signify by saying I. I. The motion is carried. Counselors. The Queen has no intention of interfering with your sentence, but would like to introduce a further motion. The Queen simply has to have his body. All those in favor of Her Majesty's motion. Aye. The motion is carried. <laughs> So many kisses from Kai. One more kiss from the man who is dead. That's 790 kisses for Robot Head 790. I can't go on. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't go on. What's that for? What are you doing? Look. I said I didn't do anything. Listen, can, can we just talk this over, okay? I mean, look. Uh, listen, let's have another meeting, okay? <laughs> yeah. The things Queen is going to do with that body. You just give Queen the shivers. I'm glad! You know, because... Because Queen gives Captain Stanley his shivers, too. So, uh... Why doesn't Queen just let Captain Stanley out of this thing and we can talk things over, hmm? Together. You know, in a way that pleasures us both, huh? You know? If Queen knows what Captain Stanley means. All Queen wants is your body, from the nape of your neck, right down to your tippy, tippy toes. All I am saying is that the phrase non-she may be derogatory to those boys who do not wish a negative prefix attached to their sex. It's a fundamental and typical violation of our autonomy. <laughs> yes. But non she in the context of this motion, refers to those who are not boys. The negative prefix is attached to the non she Not a boy at all. That's not my point. Non is negative and is attached. Therefore, attaches negativity to the word she, to which it is attached. Granted. <laughs> Agree to the earlier motion. Oh, throw that in my face. Point of order! Emma? Can we please table this discussion and return to the amendment on the original motion? If the mover and uh, seconder agree. Agreed. I most emphatically do not agree. I, I for one will not sit idly back while we entrench this negative attachment to our collective identity into the minutes. Then what do you propose we substitute for the term non-she? Man! <laughs> Look, you can have me, okay? Look, I'm willing to play whatever game you want. I mean, look, 
Like I said, I'm experienced, you know, I've done all kinds of things, kinky things even. A kinky, you know, um, kinky, you know, in the tub. You know, just name your game, I'll make you happy. Oh, Queen can never be happy. Oh, why? Because life is difficult for Queen. Prince rules this planet, Duke wants to rule it, and will Queen ever get a chance? No, no. Because Queen is stuck here in this cesspool. And all we do on Girl Town is make balloons. Oh, I'm sure that can't be any fun for you. And have council meetings, and more meetings, and balloons, and, and more meetings, and amendments, and points of order, and more meetings, and points of order, and balloons, and round, and round, and round, and round. Up and down, and touch the ground. Around and around and up and down, up and down and touch so, the ground. So, what do you make these balloons for? Balloons? Everyone else. They, they make the balloons to attack the planet water. And then each other. And Queen just stagnates. Do you understand? No, no, not completely. There's no body for Queen. Now do you understand? I don't know, I want to understand. Oh, Queen is desperate. Queen doesn't have much time. Well then, leave. Who's stopping you? You! Me? Queen desperately wants your body, Captain Drumsticks. Hey, just call me Stanley. Drumsticks! 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 Whatever Queen wants. Queen gets. And Captain Stanley, Queen Majesty, wants you. This is what you have to give me. That's how it works. Sky, which some believe to be a comet. I wish that I were not alive. I wish that I were dead. Maybe then the man in black would take the head to bed. I'm looking for a friend. Her name is Zev. Is she from here? No. Zev is a beautiful love slave. She is dressed in the skin of a lizard. Are you for real? I am. For real. None of us know a Zev. Well then, I'll... Let you get back to your sewing. No way, Kai, please. You've got to help us. We're held here in this awful place against our will, forced into the worst kind of slavery. They keep us girls down here in the heat, while those inhuman beasts who live up there beat us, torture us, humiliate us, and sometimes even worse. Poor Pearl. And all because we are the way we are. But we've done nothing wrong. Who does this to you? 
Sam! Help us die, please! I am looking for a woman named Zev. She is not from here. Have you seen her? Just, what do you think you are? I am dead. That's right. Sweetie! I suggest that you reconsider your position. Free us! Now might be a good moment to take advantage of the element of surprise. Let's get him, go! Come along and free us! <laughs> and today's the dead. I am not a real man. I am a dead man. The proper way to address your queen is to say, Your Majesty, I am your loyal subject and will gladly give you everything that I can. Your Majesty, I am your loyal subject and I will happily give you anything I can. Now look, Queen or Jigarata or whoever you are, why don't you just, don't you just get out of that tub and let me out of here. Be careful what you wish for, or you will get what you want. Have you ever... had a girlfriend? Girlfriends yet? Yeah, yeah, I've had lots. Did you ever share your body with these girlfriends? Well, yeah. <laughs> Queen wants you to share your body with her. What do you want to do with my body? Queen wants to put her head onto it. Where do you want to put your head on my body? <sighs> Queen wants to put her head onto the part that sticks out. Do this to his hammer. We've still got a lot left on the agenda. You said the M word. Take your hand off me. She's right, Hammer. You can't leave. What? Unless we make a motion to adjourn. No. Seconded. I would like to speak to the motion and make an amendment to it as well. Can't debate a motion to adjourn. Point of personal privilege. I move we vote the motion to adjourn in special session.
there hate us. They've always hated us. They keep us down here in the filth and the heat. Well, it's just not fair. It does not seem fair. But there's nothing that we can do. We just have to suffer because we are different. You do not have to suffer anymore. You are free. You can go. Wherever you want. But we've nowhere else to go. We're not like the others here on fire. We don't want to kill people and take over their city. We're not that type. I just came from a place called Garden. Garden is a beautiful garden. And it is empty now. You could live there. What is a garden? A place of beautiful flowers with food that is good to eat growing all around. The water planet. Did you hear that, girls? A place of our own a garden. A place of beautiful flowers and plants that are good to eat grow all around. But how would we get there? Didn't you say, did you make balloons here? <laughs> but how would we find it, this garden full of beautiful flowers and blossoms? I will show you after I find Zev. I believe she is somewhere in this town. We will help you find her. Uh, oh! Stanley, Stanley, Captain Pinky, the Rosy Pinky, the Rosy Stanley. <laughs> Queen is boiling over! <laughs> that all of these cities here on fire follow a certain pattern. They are each populated by one type or other of horrible, vicious, evil people. I have observed that. So explain us. How do we fit in? Are we horrible and vicious? It's just some kind of awful mistake, Kai. We don't belong here. It's so awful. What have we done wrong? We don't belong on this planet. We belong on water. But the boys, they really do belong here. Boys! Call a question. Is that on the motion to go in special session or the motion to adjourn? I believe my motion is on the floor, reading the bylaws. Call a question! All those in favor of the motion to... She, do you mean a man? Queen is going to get to know every inch of you. Queen is going to feel so good. Queen wants your body. Queen will take your body now. Stanley may not be ready to part with you. Oh. oh, thank you. This is for Pearl. We're leaving this place forever. We're going to a garden on the planet water without you. And we're never coming back.
719. Yes, Black Man of Death, separated from his blue robot head. We are returning to the Lex. Joy, joy, and joy times joy. My man is coming home. Yeah, I think they deserve it. What? Well, to, to be on Garden City, on the water, instead of girl town. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll be happy there. I think he looks just so gorgeous and black. There's a little snack for you, Lex. Tasty snack. Stanley, but I cannot. What do you mean you can? I do not float. Guy, ah, you gotta save me. I'm sorry, Stan, but I cannot. <laughs> what do you mean you can? I do not float. I don't want to die. You can do it, Tweedle. You can make it. I've always made it before. We will make it this time, too. I know it. Somebody! Can you hear me? This is a bad dream. Oh. This is a very bad dream. Please. Yes. Stay 
Somebody. Please. Where's Kai? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Stan's gone too. As if that matters. He can't be gone. It doesn't make sense. My circuits are shorting. Kai, Stan, and I were crossing over with everyone from Girl Town. <gasps> I saw Lex eat some things. They were just in front of him and he ate them. Some balloons and... Us. We were there too. Lex ate the balloons and Kai and Stan were knocked out of the moth. I think they fell down to water. Lex? Yes, Captain? How are you the Captain? Stan gave me the key when he fell out of the moth. Or the key left him on its own, I don't know. Lex? Yes, Captain? Why did you eat the balloons? Because I was hungry. They were delicious. But they were only a very small snack. I am still very hungry. Can you fly now? I think I can, but not very far. I need to eat much more. Do you know what happened to Kai? Who is Kai? The most gorgeous hunk of man that ever lived. And then some. The dead man in black. I don't know. We were there in the moth with the balloons when you ate them. You almost ate us. They were very tasty. And I am still very hungry. You have to go back down. You have to find Kai! You have to do something! I know. But what? estimate that we could effectively patrol the entire surface of the planet in 142.3 days. That won't do Stan much good. <gasps> what? He's a dead assassin. That means he's been decarbonized. That means he doesn't float, and I can't bear to think about what that means! <laughs> you have to keep looking, 790. Please, keep looking. Stanley. What are you doing here? I'm here because I have caught you in my net, so to speak. Caught me how? <laughs> we will discuss that soon, together. 
Where are we? We are between fire and water. But there's nothing between fire and water. I mean, there's no, there's no land on water. There's no water on fire. And no planets in the sky. How can, how's that possible? You made it possible. But uh, sometimes there are no planets in the sky, right? Sometimes there are sight on the other side. You are on the other side. Okay, well, that settles that. But, but this is a beach. I mean, do we, do we miss something or somehow or? <laughs> no, you didn't miss anything. Then where am I? As I said, you're between fire and water. Uh, oh, uh, but not on either one of them. Not yet, anyway. Look. Here you come. Nothing important, just a body. Nothing important? It's a dead body. But not my dead body. your time. Maybe. You are. Got any other suggestions? Yes. Eject his carcass into space and concentrate on looking for my beloved hunk of living death. So, Nadia, this is the deal. You have to help me fix up Stan, and once we've taken care of him, we'll start trying to find Kai, okay? The protein regenerator repairs damaged flesh. It does not bring the dead back to life. Well, Stan is damaged flesh. Stan is destroyed flesh. He is dead. Well, we have to try. It's a waste of time. I already heard that. Now, are you going to help me or not? I will do anything you ask as long as you help me find my beloved. Fine. Let's try. But it is a waste of time. Stanley Tweedle. Well, technically that could be the right answer, seeing as how you look just like me. But I'm Stanley Tweedle. Let's skip the technicalities. Let's talk about you. I was. Tell me, Stanley, would you rather be on fire or on water? Well, I'd rather be on water, of course. Not that I'd ever want to have to make that choice. Don't worry, you won't. He will. He will decide whether you suffer forever on fire or enjoy yourself forever on water. Well, who's he and why does he get to decide? I'm you. And therefore he knows you better than anyone else. I will argue that you should spend eternity with me on the planet Fire. And I will make sure that you suffer. He's very good with pain. I am. Okay, well, who's gonna argue that I should spend my time on water? You know, provided that's the only alternative. It is. And you are. You will defend your life, and he, the other, you, he will be your judge. 
So, Stanley, tell me about yourself. What, everything? Everything. There's nothing you can hide. Although there may be a few things that you might want to explain. But, come, I've, I've always just done what I had to do to get from one day to the next. No, more or less. More or less? No, it's not. Those are just nerves firing in response to electrical stimulation. The man is dead. But we've repaired everything on his body. Why isn't he alive? He's not alive because he's a rotting sack of meat. And I told you this would not work. We are wasting precious time that could be usefully spent rejoining two hearts in love. Kai doesn't have a heart, nor do you. I have a virtual heart. No, you don't. And Kai doesn't love you. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. The dead don't love. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. You do. Admit it. I will only admit that you are one very messed up robot head. So then he asked us to wait outside while he went inside and bought himself a drink. But me and my brother, we just, you know, left him there. And by the time he came back out, we were long gone. What a way to treat your best friend. Oh, he was being a jerk, you know? Well, we didn't have any money and he wasn't going to share. But still, you were willing to abandon your best friend because he wouldn't share a drink of soda water with you. Yeah. You know, we were never friends after that. I mean, something just got broken and it couldn't be fixed. See, but at the time, I told myself, you know, this is the right thing to do. But, I, you know, I, I knew it wasn't. I mean, he was just in a mood. I, I shouldn't have left him there. I know how bad he must have felt when he came out and his best friends were, you know, gone. Not as bad as you're going to feel. You know, there hasn't been a day, a week, a month, a year that's gone by in the rest of my entire life that I haven't thought about that. I just felt bad, wish there was some way I could make it up. Well, you can't. What's done cannot be undone. So, does that mean I'm going to have to go to fire? No. You were only 14. Oh, so we're going to talk about the 94 reform planets. I mean, that, that's what's going to do me in, right? No. No? That was a sin of omission. His divine shadow destroyed the 94 reform planets. If you had given up your life, saved them, we wouldn't be walking on the beach right now. You'd already be on water. But you chose not to be a hero. You chose to live on and do many bad things. What bad things? You made many bad choices. The kind that I prefer when you could have made good choices. Exactly the same thing. You're just wasting power storing it in there. I'm the captain now, so I can waste power if I want to. Come on, Simon Andy, let's go. Where are we going? Fishing. Excellent idea. And from the time I arrived in the cluster until the time I played a very significant role in the destruction of the divine order, nothing much happened. I mean, in my life, on a personal level. Nothing comes to mind that you did wrong. Well, I'm sure there must, might have been a few small things, but there's nothing I can remember that well. Nothing? Mm, nothing springs to mind. That's funny. A few things are springing into my mind. There are? Yes. They spring in, and then they spring out again. Invalid code. Access denied. <laughs> Alert. This fugitive wanted for immediate termination. Selfish behavior, don't you? I do. Oh, come on, I didn't even know who she was. Or care. 
Look, she could have been a killer or something. I mean, besides, you know, it was all just a reflex action. Okay, fine. I admit, maybe I didn't do the best thing. But I was in a panic. Now, you're not going to condemn me for that. No. He doesn't have to. What do you mean? You'll see. Ladies, I've got the hand, the key to the legs. It only does what I tell it, remember? Huh? What's that? His shadow's personal flagship, the Mega Shadow. And the cluster's 24th attack wing. Uh, Lex, could you please destroy them, if you don't mind? I cannot fulfill your command. They are forces under the immediate direction of his divine shadow. And, and you are not permitted to destroy them. <laughs> I'm security guard, fourth class Stanley Tweedle, and I've been captured by these escaped prisoners, and I'm surrendering to Lex, and I truly worship his divine shadow. You waste of skin! You knew who Zev was then, didn't you? Sort of. And yet you still did not hesitate to betray her. I was stalling for time, really. Really? No. You were afraid of dying. Whereas you should have been afraid of what would happen after your death. So you're saying that I've got to go to fire now, is that it? Not at all. You've done many things that are far worse than that in your little lifetime. Really? Yes, really. Here. How can you tell? It's a robot location kind of thing. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, it just is. I know that this is the spot where you found the dead security guard's body. But how do you know that? There's nothing to make any reference to, just open water. <laughs> First I lose my man, and then everybody starts to pick on me. I'm not picking on you, I just asked you a question. You hate me. So, Nandy, I already told you I don't hate you. You love him, don't you? Who? I knew it. I knew it, I knew it! You're in love with my dead man! Look, 790, I will admit that once I had some... In fact, quite a lot of feelings for Kai. It didn't go anywhere because it couldn't. I'm alive and he's dead. So I've tried to move on. You've tried, but you haven't succeeded. You're trying to steal my step away! Sure this is a spot? Would I steer you wrong? I don't know. You might want no one to have him if you can't. I love him completely, don't I? In your special 790 way, you do. Then I want us to find my man. Desperately. I believe you. When we catch him, I promise you'll let him be mine and mine alone. No. Please, Zev, I'm begging you. No. Nope. I'll humiliate myself. I'll do anything. No. Nope. Then I'm going to kill myself. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't, because you can't. You're a robot head. You cannot even move if I don't pick you up. Then throw me over the side. No. Please, Zev. I can't stand to live another minute longer knowing that you're trying to steal my man away. I'm not trying to steal your man. You're not? No, I'm just fishing for him. Like you. Who knows if either one of us will catch his fish. So I have a chance? Yes, 790, you have a chance. Not much of one, but a tiny little robot head in love chance to make his dead man dreams come true. Ah, 
so happy. Rope. You're not taking everything into account. I did good things too. Can you make them appear? You can, if you can think of any. It was me and Zeb. If we hadn't been destroying those brains, then Kai never would have got his chance to kill the Divine Shadow, see? So I helped destroy the Divine Shadow and rid the universe of the Divine Order. Now that's gotta count for something. I'd say she acted very bravely. Well, so did I. Going along with her brave act was a good choice, I admit, Stanley, most unusual for you. But I did it. I did help. Yes, you did and that will cancel out some of your wrong choices. Okay, so I mean, that's gotta mean that I get to go to water. Not at all. The best part, from my point of view anyway, is yet to come. Remember this. So Red Hutsey, if we don't get more flame, we're gonna crash and burn. That's all there is. <laughs> okay, then we have to lose weight now. So, who's gonna volunteer to die? I volunteer him. I volunteer you. No, it's our balloon. We picked you up and you got some extra free life. So come on, do the right thing. Come on, go over to the side. Come on, come on, you lost the vote. No, no. Get easy. No, you jump. No, 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 jump. I'm not jumping. Come on, if you're not going to jump, then we just got to throw you over. Forget it. Kai. <laughs> no, no, please, please, I'm begging you. Oh, you can't just kill me. Stuff out my life like it was nothing. Hey, and if Duke's right and there is another life, you all might have to pay for this wrong! I thought you didn't believe him. We don't have a choice, Beefy. Come on. No! 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 Killing is wrong! There's gotta be a way! Okay, so we don't think there's enough fuel! Well, maybe the wind will change direction or something! You can't just take away a man's precious life because there isn't enough wind! Come on, Beefy. Let go! Oh, ow. I don't know. I don't know if I could throw him over the side either. You're crazy on me again, Zev. Look, just be practical for once. What good is it gonna do if we all crash and burn? I mean, come on, Kai, give me your hand. Well, here. if killing someone is wrong, then it's wrong. Yeah. Look, there's just so much to choose from. Stan, this is Zev. We found somebody alive. There could be more. Somebody? Wh what kind of somebody? A female somebody. Female. Is she attractive? Is that all that matters to you? Yeah, pretty much. Bye, Stan. No, wait, wait! So what's so wrong about that? Does the word selfish mean anything to you? Oh, come on, that's small. What do you expect, perfection? Look, I was just being a guy with needs. You know, like uh, any other guy. Okay, look, anyway, I already paid for that. How? Well, I was almost raped by a robot head. Only almost. And what about this? 790 is an electronic device. Won't he be destroyed too? 790's mini brain is not an electronic circuit. And so it shouldn't be destroyed. That not that the, the part that counts now? 790 is a hybrid, part human, but mostly machine. Any pulse that destroys the drones would certainly destroy 790. So? 
The Lex is about to die here, and we're about to die with it. We can't stop to save a robot head. But we did stop. We went back for the stupid robot head. We almost got killed in the process. But would you have gone back if Zev hadn't pushed you? Look, I didn't want to go back inside the Lex because it wasn't sensible. Yet we're risking Zev's life too, huh? And I didn't want her to die any more than I wanted me to die. And somebody had to be practical on her behalf because she never is. There, see, I'm, I was right. I don't agree, but I will concede the point. Well, good. We're finally starting to move this process in the right direction. That direction is about to change. Oh, so what are we going to talk about now? The me losing the amino acid codes that caused 94 reform planets to be destroyed? No. Then what? Well, I don't remember anything else that I did that was especially wrong. Anything big, that is. I remember. I was there. I would have liked you, Stanley. I know I would have. 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 May? 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 May, are you there? Am I here, Stanley? Am I? I am here. Stanley, if you want me to be. May. Do you want me, Stanley? Hey, May, are you there? She's there, Stanley. She's there, Stanley. She's there for you if you want her to be. Prince. She's there, Stanley. Do you want her, Stanley? What? What are you talking about? Do you want May? Do you want her to be there? To be alive and yours? When well, I was alone? I, I, I don't know. I, what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you saying? I'm saying, do you want May to be alive and yours? Or not? Well, um, but she's, she's, she's dead. Yes. But she does not have to be dead if you don't want her to. But how, how? You saw me die? Hmm? <laughs> Do you want May to live, Stanley? Yes, yes, I want May to live and be mine alone. Good. Then you and I will make a deal. I will give you May. And in return, you will agree to use this ship, the Lex, to help me to destroy the planet Water. But there are people on the planet Water. Yes, there are people there. Can they leave? No. They must also be destroyed along. When would I have to do this? As soon as you can. No, no, I can't. I'm, I can't destroy an entire planet and everybody on it for, for just one person. That's a good decision. You've passed the test. Only temporarily. Does this mean May will live now? No, no. This means May will stay as she is. She will remain dead. Oh, here comes the best part. 
Prince? Prince? I agree. I used Alex to blow up water and make him live. I agree. Prince? Prince? Stanley. Nate. You're alive. That'll be a very costly kiss. For you, anyway. No. What, no? No, I did not destroy water. Water was not blown up. Stanley, you're not being condemned for destroying the 94 reform planets because that is not something that you wanted to happen. Although it did happen, and arguably it is your fault. No, I did not want it to happen, and it didn't happen. Water was not blown up by me or by anybody. But you would have done it. You wanted it to happen. True. Lex, how long now? We will be directly aimed at the water planet in ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Lex. Five. I command four, you to. What? Three. Seven. Two. Lex. One, I command you. Two, one. Zero. We are now directly aimed at the water planet. Stand. Just stay out of the sips. Stay out of what? Whatever it is I'm doing. Just... And what's that? Huh? Let me go, Zev. You don't know what's going on. No, no. I command you to... What are you up to, Stanley Tweedle? Huh? You tell me what it is right now. I'm going to squeeze the life out of you. Are you going to tell me or what? Are you going to tell me? No? All right. Let's blow up the water plant now! As you command, Stan. I am sorry, Stanley. I missed. We have passed the position where I was pointed directly at the planet. Look, it was a moment of passion, okay? I was, I was acting crazy. I mean, I couldn't help myself. A moment of passion, was it? A little tiny moment of insanity that came and went in an instant? Or was it a cold-blooded attempt at mass murder that came within a hair's breadth of success? Huh? Prince. You did not destroy the water planet, Stanley. I tried, but Zev stopped me. Does this mean May is going to die now? That is up to you. I will give you one more chance. You will destroy water the next time this ship is pointed at it. Or May will be gone from you forever. And if I do? Then she will live and be yours for the rest of your life. Stanley? What is it, Zev? Sam, I thought I heard something. What? What a tragedy. You didn't get the girl, but she suddenly got you. We will be there in two minutes, Stanley. Good. Stop.
destroy our planet. We are not going to kill people we don't know. We are not going to kill Kai any more than he's already dead. You hear me? Lex, I command you to... Just any. We are not going to destroy the planet. Do you hear me? Okay, Seth. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. Just let me up so I can breathe. Oh, Stanley. Ask the Lex if he's past the point where he can destroy the planet. Ask him, Stanley, and there's no point in trying anything else. Okay. Lex? Lex? You still pointed at the planet? Yes, I am, Stan. I will be aimed at the water planet for six more seconds. Five. Four. Lex? Two, I didn't even try. Two. One. We are no longer aimed at the water planet. Lex? But I didn't know that it was the, the planet where all the good people went after they died. I didn't know it was so important. No matter. You knew that it was a planet with people on it, and you were willing to commit mass murder for your own selfish personal pleasure. True, Stanley Tweedle? Yes. I was in love. That's nice. But it is not a reason to kill. And that is all I have to say. I will see you later, Stanley Tweedle. Giving up 790. It just wasn't the right spot. I'll try other places when it gets light again. It was the right spot. I'm sure. That was exactly where we found the security guard's carcass. But we didn't find Kai. <laughs> Don't worry, 790. We'll find him somehow. And I just heard him. Who? Who else but the greatest man who ever died? Really?
I'm going to wet myself with tears of joy. There he is. Kiss me, Kai. Never wash that spot. On a branch, there is a fruit, plump and ripe for sucking. In a moth, there is a kai, cold but right for. Give him a break, 790. I can't help it. I'm obsessed by my man. Thank you, 790, but that is enough. Nice to see you again, Kai. Thank you, Zev. We knew you didn't float, and we were really worried that maybe we would never find you again. That you would be sunk down inside the planet forever. Did you find Stan's body? Yes, it was floating face down. We took it back to the Lex and tried to use the protein regenerator on it. But it was all a big waste of time. The dead stay dead. But one of the dead can pump some life into me anytime. <laughs> the Lex fly now. A short way only. He says the balloons he ate were just a snack and he's still weak, so he probably has to eat a lot more. I have the key. Kai? What? Is there anything we can do? About what? About Stanley. We can forget about him. He is dead. So are you, but it hasn't been the end for you. Does it mean it has to be the end for him? Underwater, I saw countless shapes. I think they are the life essences of people who have died and who will live again. Why do you think that? In the center of the planet, there is a brightness. I sank into this brightness, and then I woke up again on Game Town. What do you mean you woke up? I don't know exactly, but people here say they are not born, but that they wake up. I think I experienced such a process. Everyone who wakes up here has lived and died before. I believe it is a continuous cycle. Hmm. If you woke up, are you alive now? No, I am still dead. But... What? I saw the living part of me deep inside this planet, waiting for his turn to wake up and live again. So should we try to find him? I mean, you. Him. I think my living shape will have no knowledge of his former self and that he will wake up somewhere here and lead a happy life. That is a good outcome. But if you want to, we can... No, it's... it's fine. That is a good outcome. Why should we want to change it? What about Stanley? He is not here inside this planet. Why not? Water seems to be the afterlife of the virtuous. Stanley did not always make virtuous choices. I suspect he has gone into fire. Then we are going to fire. What for? To get Stanley. Visitors. I have been expecting them. What shall we do? We shall entertain them. It's Prince. Looking good as new. What do you 
you think? I think that to land here is to risk your life. But I also think that Prince is the most capable of answering your questions about Stanley. We're landing. Familiar. Of course. So, Zev, have you come for another kiss? You seem to enjoy it last time. Which time? Before you died or after you died or when you came back as Kai? Oh, I don't know. Any of them. All of them. Whatever. We have come to find Stanley Tweedle. He's dead. How do you know that? We have recovered his body. It is fully functional. But he is not alive. He is not alive because he is dead. We have learned that these two planets seem to be a type of repository for the part of a human which is its life essence outside of the physical body. That's very good. And we think that Stanley's life essence is here, and we want it back. Very good again. Stanley's life essence is here, but you can't have it back. Why not? Because I have it. Well, then give it to us. No. Kai? I have lived and died many times. The physical threat has no meaning to me. If you kill me, I will instantly live again as whoever I want, wherever I choose. But only here. Correct. That is my only limitation for now. Why do you have Stanley? Because Stanley did not live a good and perfect life. Where is he? Stanley Tweedle is waiting his turn for punishment. Your visit here intrigues me. Clearly your bug cannot fly, or you would have left. I expect that you've come to negotiate a deal. <laughs> the heat there is enough to instantly incinerate living flesh. That won't stop, Kai. I suspect that you're right. I am. This has never happened before. You're the first. First what? The first people to come here still living their original lives. This has been a most interesting time, a, a most unsettling time. A time of great possibility. And now it is time for me to die. Thank you. Where's Stanley Tweedle? Here. Would you like to see him? Yes, I would. Then come with me.
Where is our prince? I am your prince. You can leave now. In a moth there is a head whose man is cold and dead. And all that head can ever do is dream of him in bed. Oh, I suffer so. It hurts. It hurts so bad to love a dead man. Being dead, I do not care about things. But I do think about them. And what do you think about? I try to understand the difference between the living myself. Well, you're not living. You're a chemical machine, for lack of a better term. Would you like to be alive again? I do not have likes. <laughs> there you go. In a moth there is a head, yet no one seems to care. I'm in love with a man who's dead. I want to suck his hair. No, stroke his hair. Touch his hair. Caress his hair. Comb, comb his hair. Yeah, I think that works. Please, take me to Kai. Do it now. It's too hot, Seven ID. You would melt. I'm already melting with loneliness. There they are. Who? Those who made bad choices when they were still alive. And what are they waiting for? The next turn to suffer. There never used to be so many. But there are so many people now making so many bad choices in so many places that it's getting rather crowded down here. <laughs> and so they have to wait. Of course, they're not conscious of the wait. For them, it is just an instant. They suffer and they die. And then they awaken and the suffering goes on as if it had never stopped. And what will happen to Stanley Tweedle? Stanley's punishment is level nine. He will man the bellows there until his arms and legs give out. And then he will lose his head. This he will do over and over. And for how long? For the rest of time. And when time ends? And time will begin again and Stanley will return to me. There. I have come here to rescue Stanley. Go ahead. Rescue him. Take him with you. How can I do that? You can't. Can you? No. Stanley's fate is sealed. He will suffer here for all time, and that is that. I must return to Zev. Not possible. Why not? Because no one ever returns from here. This is the end of their journey, the last stop. Nothing comes after it, and there is no way back. And you can return? Of course. 
I am a prince. I am here with you, and yet at the same time I am there with Zev. But you will keep me company here. Forever. Now that we're rid of the dead man, we can finally begin to solve the problem. What problem? The only one that matters. To me, anyway. How to destroy water. I advise you to surrender. The situation is distinctly in my favor. Let me think. Stanley is dead. Kai is gone. And there is only one key to the legs. I wonder who could have it. Oh, they're very good with knives. You would never make it. So what's... The deal. I will be king, you will be queen. Or perhaps you'll be my slave. It's the same thing, really. I'm not a human being. And what are you? I'm half human and half cluster lizard. Tell me more about this cluster lizard. A very nasty thing. It eats human flesh. It prefers the brain, especially. It's a predator without feelings. Am I supposed to be afraid? No. You're supposed to understand. What? Well, I'm happy to accept your deal under the right conditions. You bring out something in me that doesn't always find proper expression. I think there's a possibility that you will be a very good queen. I will be a very good queen. But not your slave. I cannot release Stanley Tweedle, but I can move him to the head of the line. I do have some influence here. Hey. 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 Hey.
I'm not liking this one bit. What are you? What? Ah! I'm not liking this. Stanley Tweedle now. He's on level nine. Where? In my city. It's reserved for the worst cases. What is he doing there? Suffering. <laughs> Somebody. Somewhere. I can't hold out much longer. Uh, I can't keep it up forever. Someone help me. Listen. Someone help me! I will try to help you, Stanley. He can't hear you. And you can't help him. There's nothing. Gotta keep pumping. I gotta keep pumping. Piano. Gotta keep pumping. God, keep pumping. If I am a machine, and Stanley is in essence meant to suffer forever, then what are you? I do not know. How is it that you do not know? Because no one has ever asked me that question before, and so I've never thought about the answer. Where did you come from? I do not know that either. I do not know when time began, but I think I have been here from the beginning. My existence is simple. I make sure that those who make bad choices suffer, nothing more. At least until you came along. What do you want? What do you mean? I mean... What is it that you want? You have tried to destroy both fire and water, and yet you say you want to rule both of them. I want to destroy the planet water. Everything else is just a game. Why do you want to destroy water? Because it is full of good, and I'm full of bad. I think that's all there is to it. I'm not very complicated, really. Has our presence on these planets been a good thing or a bad thing? Well, a good thing for me is a bad thing for others, of course. But the truth is, I don't know. The issue is not yet resolved. But if you and I are to remain here forever, and if Stanley is to suffer for the rest of time, what can possibly happen now to resolve the issue? Zeb. She holds the future of fire and water. Without her, everything would go on forever as before. We would defeat the people of the planet water in every battle that we fought, but then we would fight among ourselves and we would undermine our victories. We would never lose, and yet we would never win. Where is Zeb now? Do you know? Yes, she's come over to me. Are you certain? No. If she hesitates, kill her. I'm waiting.
Sorry, Prince. I did not want to die. He's not there anymore, 790. He's somewhere inside the planet. Ah! Pass by the kiss. Inside the planet fire. Well, then we have to go in there and get him. You can't. Zev, go inside the planet and get him. I can, 790. Kai's dead. That's why he could go inside the planet. I would burn up if I tried to go into it. She's right. He's stuck there forever with me. Then blow up fire. Blow the planet up. Don't do that, Zev. Why not? You don't want to upset the balance. What balance? Everything. You don't want to be responsible for that. Just... Give up, Zev, and then when you're dead, in a, in a minute or two, you'll be able to live a happy life forever and ever on the planet water. Until you destroy it. Well, I've never managed to do that so far, and I never will, unless you upset the balance. Don't listen to him, Zev. We have to save Kai. We have to blow up the planet. Kai will survive. So, Zev, is there a deal? But not with you! We could be friends, you know. But only if you agree to give up the dead man. That's not the deal, 7 8. Enjoy your job. I'm very good with pain. How long, Lex? One minute, 18 seconds. Don't think about it, Zev. Just do it. I have to think about it. Kai's inside the planet and can't get out. What else do you need to know? I think the planet is an evil place, but I still don't know. That stuff Prince was saying about upsetting the balance. If it's evil, destroy it. That makes sense, but something is holding me back. How long, Lex? 40 seconds. There's something different about fire and water. It's not going to be like blowing up a normal planet. I know what it is. What? You're a woman. So? So I know how you feel about things. I know you don't want to believe me, but I am a woman too. Deep inside I can feel the femininity, the softness, the need to nurture. I know how difficult this is for you, but... 
But what? Kai comes first! Oh. I am now aimed at the planet Fire. We have a bad feeling about this. Now, Zev, blow it up now. Put aside your feelings. Only the dead man matters. But it's a whole planet. It's an evil place. That's a little more aggressive side. Next! Oh, planet fire! Blow it up now! As you command. What have I done, Seven The right thing. What's that? The end of your planet. And of you. I think I should be sad. But I'm not. Good job, Zev. And today's lesson is always ignore your feelings and listen to the robot head. Lex? You heard him. Find Kai. You heard him, Lex. Find Kai. We think he's out there somewhere. Let us see closer. I have something to do first. What? I have a planet to destroy. No. No. Lex, why don't you answer me? Lex, what are you doing? Not Lex. Prince. And as I said, I have a plan to destroy. And there it is. Lex, do not destroy that planet. Balance, Zev, balance. You upset it, and I'm resetting it in my special way. Don't do it, Lex. Don't do it! He's not listening. I'm in charge now. Oh, and thank you, Zev. It has taken far too long, but this little conflict between fire and water is finally over. Yes, Captain. 
Lex, is that you? Yes, it is me, Captain. What planet would you like me to destroy? None right now. Do you know what happened to Prince? Who is Prince? The one who was just in control of you. The one who had you destroy the planet Water. I don't remember anyone else in control of me. You are my captain. You don't remember the planet you just blew up? There are no planets here. That's right. And I am very hungry. You know that. And Lex, we think Kai, the dead man in black, is still out there somewhere. Maybe you can help 790 search for him. As you command, Captain. survive, as I am already dead. But I was not destroyed. Then I'm glad you were not destroyed. Oh, joy to the math of calculable number squared! Hello, 790. Where are you going? to wake up Stanley. But he's dead! <sighs> Kai. Sev, wow. Oh, I was having a terrible, terrible dream. You were not dreaming. What? No, see, I, I, I thought, I thought I was, um... What? Well, f <clears throat> the first I was falling with you, and then I was swimming, and then, uh, I don't remember. Now I'm here with my friends. Welcome back, Stanley. Welcome back to life with your friends. What, like, like, what do you mean? What happened to me? You died. I died. <laughs> yes, then it will. You died and went down into fire. And now you're back alive. Really? Really? very slowly. I am still very hungry. If I eat, I will be able to go faster. So can we make it somewhere or not? Not. There appear to be no other light-bearing planets in the system, and the next solar system is seven light years away. The Lex will take a long time to make it that far unless he finds more food to eat. Well, why don't we just go to another planet in this system, and the Lex can eat all he wants? It must contain organic matter which normally means it must be a life-bearing planet. Well, are you sure there's none around here? None are visible. Look. What's that? Lex, can we have a closer look at the star beside that sun? As you command, Captain. But that star 
is a planet. Hmm. It's half covered with water, so it should be a life-bearing planet. How come we haven't seen it before? It is in the same orbit as fire and water, but opposite. It was not visible from where they were, and they were not visible from it. Interesting. So that means that there must be a lot of organic material on that planet. So Zev, tell Alex to go there and chow down. I... All those shapes, those things that came out of fire, you saw them too, right? Yes, I did. What were they? I believe they were the life essences of all those who died and made bad choices. People who were evil in life. But didn't they go around that sun to where the planet is? Yes, they did. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, then, <laughs> you think we should be going there? I do not see that you have any other choice if you want to feed the Lex. I don't care where I go. As long as I'm with my man. I'm, I'm. Well, here we go then. Lex, head towards the planet, and there you can eat all you want. Thank you, Captain. Thank you very much. I have a big appetite now, and I will eat a lot. Okay, little blue planet. <laughs>